to a training team. We're in Microsoft Teams today and I'd like to share with you some of the cool things that are really useful that you can use the chat box for when you're running virtual trainings or meetings in Microsoft Teams. So first of all, let me show you how to open the chat box. If you hover your mouse somewhere towards the bottom middle of your screen, you get your control panel. And we're looking to click this icon here that looks a bit like a speech bubble. And magically, your chat box appears. The chat box is a great way of enhancing conversation in virtual environments rather than replacing it. So we often encourage people to share ideas, thoughts, answers to questions in the chat box, but we'll then take those and make them into a verbal conversation. But you can have banter going, you can share information and files, um, really, really useful thing to know how to get your head around. So I'm going to take us out of the actual meeting so I can show you the, um, the chat box um, in a bigger way, just so it's easier for you to see. But it works exactly the same whether you're just in a channel um, or whether you're actually in a meeting. So let me just take us to that right now. Here we go. I'm going to take us into the channel itself. And you can see here at the bottom of the screen are all those same icons. The first one here, this is your formatting button and you can do a lot of formatting in the way that you put your messages together in the chat box. If you're in a meeting then you probably don't want to spend too much time tarting about with your text um, but if you're outside of a meeting you might want to think a bit more carefully about your formatting and as you can see you can do all sorts here and even post your messages in multiple channels if you want. This is quite a helpful um, option as well to mark your message as important. So if you're in a virtual workshop or meeting and you really want to make sure that your message stands out, then you can mark it as important. And you can undo and um, repeat typing as well. So have a play with that. Thankfully, you can delete as well. Next up, we've got the attachment. If you want to attach a file um, into the chat box, then you can do that, which means people that can then just click on it and there we are. You can upload from your computer, OneDrive, or from the actual channel itself. And um, that appears, let's just do that. That then appears in the chat box for everyone to see. There you go. So that's just loading up. And once it's loaded, then your colleagues can click on that and download it. Other things that we have are the emojis. We all love a good emoji. The dancing monkey seems to be particularly popular. Let me just get rid of that so we can see that it goes directly into the chat. Let's find the dancing monkey. Okay, there's the dancing monkey. We use the um, emojis quite a lot in Microsoft Teams. They're great emojis, aren't they? Um, you can use, for example, if everyone agrees, find the thumbs up and Another one that we use quite a lot is the raised hand. So this one here, if you've got a question or something that you want to ask, then you can get everyone's attention by waving your hand. Um, great news, by the way, and I'll just jump straight back to this. If it hasn't arrived yet, any day now, you're gonna get on your control panel here, an extra button that will be a raised hand. So you are gonna have the ability in team meetings to raise your hand. So going back to this, the GIFs, now, it depends on your organization as to how much, um, how can I put this, how creative you can be with your gifts. Some organizations put um, limits on whether you can just search the entire internet or not. If you want to search for something quite funky, then literally you just, sorry, back in the gif, you just search um, any word and then you'll get a load of gifts that come up. The stickers. Again, loads of options here. Different um, Cats in Suits is a personal favourite of mine. For those of you that know me, you'll know why. Um, so Cats in Suits, if you just want to put some funny emojis up, why not? Um, what else do we have? So the here, you can actually have pinned different apps. So we've got the Stream, um, Microsoft Stream app pinned here um, and the Trello app. And there are other apps that you can find as well. Now, what's a really helpful app that we use a lot in our sessions is the Forms app. You can do a really super quick poll in the chat box and it works like this. So meet next on which day? Oops. 
So you could actually, you've got some options there for you, or you can type them in. And you can add further options there. But the cool thing is, is once you hit next, um, you can then send this into the chat box. So that's just happening right now. I just close that down. There it is. And everyone in your channel or in your meeting can then vote. Really helpful stuff. The final thing to share with you here is the praise. Do you want to say thank you or well done to somebody in the meeting or even somebody outside of the meeting? Then you can send praise. So I'm going to send um, a unicorn of awesomeness to my colleague, Abby, just by clicking here and typing her name in. There she is. You are awesome. Can't spell. Does anyone else get that when you're typing in front of other people? You can't type all of a sudden. So let's preview it and then send it. And then that will appear um, as a notification for Abby. If she's not in the meeting or if she's here, she also gets a notification and she can see it instantly. And there you have it. Easy, really funky, cool things that you can do in Microsoft Teams chat. So have a play with it, enjoy and good luck.